Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Long Dark. This is Gunnel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as I go this way and uh, try to go to the, we're going to the cabin, to the, the one top, on the top of the mountain. So it's going to be a long journey, and I think this is the way for that long journey. It's, uh, I don't know, I think it is, but I guess we'll find out. Last episode we did a bunch of fishing. Uh, we got uh, that particular mission complete. We all we, we and we, we, uh, when we completed that, the Jeremiah dude gave me a very big and heavy parka, a five kilogram heavy parka. It's just heavy, and uh, now we need to fix it. I need to go to. That's why I need to go to where I was saying. There's a wolf over there. The problem is I don't know where I am. I don't want to mess with that wolf. There's a... Is this the dead tree place? I think it's the dead, dead tree place. I don't know where I am, though. In relation to everything. Oh, man. If this leads... If this leads to the central... So there's, a, there's this sort of central... Mountain in the map. Right next to the cabin. If this leads to the central map... Yeah, that does look to be the case. Yeah, I know where I am now, I think. So yeah, this is the central uh, mountain, which would mean that if I go this way, I'm eventually going to get to the cabin. Uh, the central cabin that I like to be in. But, that's not where I need to go. I would need to go over that way, I think. But let's follow the mountain, because it's usually a very good way to stay out of trouble down there. But not a surefire bet, of course. Because wolves also know how to climb mountains. Okay. That's the tracks back there, isn't it? Maybe. Can't really tell. Binoculars would be so helpful in this game. So uh, proper binoculars as well, not just the crappy plus two or times two binoculars that I usually in video games. Yeah, I know where I am. The cabin is over there. I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And this is... Yeah, I know where I am. Okay. We have our work... Actually, no. I was going to say we have our work cut out for us. Nope. I have learned what that means. I I, I was saying that in... Uh, I think it was in Fallout 2. In my Let's Play of Fallout 2. That was, there's a couple of places where they say work cut out for you or something. And I was under the impression that that meant... It's just basically you had your work just half done. Like, like, cut off more than cut out. Um, and I then looked it up, and apparently it's not. I had it, had it completely the, the wrong way around. Having the work cut out for me would be having something, a, a task. Well, having the work, the task, cut out for me, because it's really tricky. And hard, or just painful, or whatever. The thing is, I don't know if I can climb through here. You guys remember that I said maybe now we can't go up as we could before? Because I think, yeah, from here you could go up there. We still might be able to, but it's not going to be a walk in the park. Okay, shut up. You ate a bunch of fish yesterday. And I will give you a little bit of water just because that thing is heavy, so you might as well take that. Because everybody knows that once you drink something... It makes it, it, it just, it, it, it disappears. It doesn't contribute to the weight that you have on your legs. That's fine. Uh, also, didn't we have a locked thing up there? In the cat? I, I think we did. I'm not going to be able to open it, though. I think. Okay. So, we're here. Yeah. I don't think there's any climbing spot. Even then, I, would, I wouldn't want to go up the climbing spot with this, this much inventory on me. It would be bad. It would completely ruin my, my stamina. It would take forever. I might even fall. Which is a terrible thing. So up the mountain we go, which is also a pretty hardest, hardest task, but a little bit less arduous, I, was, I suppose, than going straight up a rope. <laughs> I've never been able to climb ropes myself. I tried it when I was a kid, when I was lighter anyway. Uh, and I was a kid as well. Uh, b but I could never. I, I could never figure it out. I don't know why. I think it was mostly 
due to the... I did. I never understood how to create friction between me and the rope. Uh, but I also remember having a lot of trouble just pulling my weight. Uh, which... Okay, I mean... Okay, is, isn't surprising, to be honest, because I was a little bit chubby. But, uh... I wasn't really... I wasn't over overweight. I was like, I don't know, 10%... 10% above the speed limit, effectively. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. Actually, a... oh, Lovely. My wrist is broken. It is. You're a terrible person. Terrible person. <sighs> what? <laughs> Painkillers don't work like that. I wish they did. Well, I, I, maybe some work like that, but... Yeah, painkillers don't work like you just take them and oh, the pain is gone. It's amazing. That's what, uh, what anesthetics is for. Are for. I'm pretty sure. I I don't know. I've never taken painkillers that that fixed my pain in a second or ten or a minute even. About five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Let's go in here. And here we are. Close the door. And we've been here before. Everything is has been looted. We have a book over here. Make sure I don't miss it. I didn't miss anything. We have a radio. And I think... Hank's lockbox. Key. Hmm. Oh. What? Repair Jeremiah's coat. Where are the skins? <gasps> I think I can use this. How did I not see this? It was just a carpet. <laughs> okay, well, we have that. Uh, we don't have any fixing tools, though. So I'm going to go back to the cabin because it's going to be... I, I don't want to mess too much with, with things. Can you please let me... Fast, please. Thank you. The temperature here is quite, quite serene, quite good. So I'm good for that. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's go back to the cabin because I, I need, I need the, the sewing kits. Otherwise, things are not gonna go well for us. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's nothing here. I suppose I could jump. That's always a possibility. Of course, the game deletes your save, but so that's not a possibility. Let's jump this way. It's the way we took anyway before. And I have painkillers running through my system. So why would I need... Actually, you need more painkillers more and more. The more sprained things you have and all that sort of stuff in this game. So, yeah. I don't know how it is in, in real life. If you have a lot of pain, do you need more painkillers? I suppose you would. I mean, I, I mean, I guess. I don't really know how they work. I mean, I know... I know they remove the pain. The thing is, the, what is the biological process that painkillers go? Do they look for pain that exists and they just shut down the uh, need to eat soon. the pain receptors? Yeah, you're gonna need to shut up because there's wolves that want to eat as well. So you need to just stay cool and look at the beautiful sun. My god, we've had some pretty decent, pretty beautiful skies recently. This yellow is... I love it. I love this yellow. It's awesome. And the wolves that we heard. Fake. They weren't there. I'm almost certain. There, there could be wolves down here. Oh, and we're following our foot track, our footprints. There could be wolves down here. I keep saying that this is a, a den for them. But it doesn't seem like that is the case. Okay. Did it like a pro? And I totally, di I totally didn't see the, the the bear pelt the first time around. I'm sure he was there. I'm sure it was there. He must have been there. I, I, don't, I don't actually... I didn't even think about that. Because on the previous uh, thing, it, it, he, he sent us to the cabin. And in the cabin, there was nothing. Because we had gotten the stuff from the cabin already. Um, and uh, he sent me to the... Sent me to that cabin over there. Or watchtower or, or whatever. Uh, and I didn't think that, oh, I must have gotten it already. I knew, I mean, I knew I didn't have it because it was, a, it was required a, a bear pelt. But still, that was, I didn't think about it. But anyway, the bear pelt is ours. 
Which makes us even more over-encumbered, I'm sure. I didn't look at the, at the weight of that. That's gonna take a little while. We can make... We What can we make with the bear pelts? I think you require two bear pelts. Two dried bear pelts to be able to make a, um, a sleeping bag. A very, very heavy-duty sleeping bag. And I've done it myself in, in uh, survival mode. But only in early access, so that's why I don't know if it's still the same thing. Uh, and uh, it's it's good. I don't use the sleeping bag too much. That's a really good sleeping bag, though, because you can just sleep outside during a storm and it's, it's fine. Uh, but in this game, I, I mean, with this much clothing that we have, I think any sleeping bag is going to do the job. Uh, if you just have good clothing, you don't really need a, the good sleeping bag. Just sleep in your deer pants and your uh, wolf jacket or whatever. I don't actually know what you make out of wolf skins. Is it the deer? Is it the pants? I don't know. I think the deer is for the pants, but the wolf, I don't know what, what it's for. Okay, so here we are. Uh, so I will get my tools. And uh, they're not here. Or here. I wouldn't expect them to be there. I suppose they would be here. They are indeed. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, so I take you. And uh, I have a couple of these that I have no need for. So put it over there. Suppress the hiccup, and I think we're good. Got some stone over there, but apart from that, everything is nice. So let's go upstairs. Let's put this out of the way. Keep an eye on my water. The temperature, how does it feel in here? 18 degrees. 18 degrees. That is warm spring temperature right there. Uh, got some mountaineer decent trail boots and a rag trail boots. I'll take those because I want to fix these over here. So, action, harvest, one hour and a half. That's fine by me. Feels like Hit. Yeah, an empty because it is an empty pit. How, how, yeah. Okay. Now let's repair. I need cloth as well. I think I have new meli. What? I have two military coats. Oh no, these are different slots. Oh, I see. No, what? What happened? Did I remove the... Hmm. Okay, this is the outer layer and this is the inner layer. I need to to keep an eye on the um, on the windproof as well, because that's a, that's a thing as well. And this is the inner layer over there. Yeah. Yeah, I, you don't really get a chance, a choice, so it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so we have some of this over here and some of that I don't need that so let's fix our boots repair that for maybe I did have a sewing kit <laughs> I think I did actually uh, but it doesn't matter I wanted to come over here anyway uh, so 87 very good but because these boots are quite important I'll uh, I'll, up I'll, rip I'll uh, yeah basically Get them fixed as soon as possible. It's still only midday. Man, we didn't really take much time, did we? Okay, let's take that over there. And then from here, we're going to be able to fix our boots. Very cool looking boots as well. I really like them. It's, they're, they're a little bit... Uh, I don't like the the things at the front. But how well, really, at the end of the day. That, oh, no, no. No. You didn't break them. That is good. You guys must must have been screaming at me. I didn't I didn't destroy all of our hopes of amazingness. Don't worry. I did waste a little bit of time, but that's fine. Ooh. <laughs> I just uh, it's, it's what I it's, it's what happens when I run my mouth. Okay, so get that. Complaining about fashion, and it did it did waste a bunch of time. Uh, I'm gonna need a little bit of food. So before night falls. And I might not even be able to repair things. Let's get something from here. What do I have? Got some of that. And I got some of these. Are these... I, I, I seem to remember these being... Really... Yeah, let's take them. Really caloric, basically. So I suppose salty crackers and a soda. 
pretty healthy, I, w I would say. As long as you get in the, the calories, really, who cares? Uh, okay, so let's fi now let's fix the, the parka. Because that's the... Right there. How much does that weigh? One kilogram. Okay, fine by me. Okay. Repair that. One hour and 42 minutes. 100% chance of, su of success. Now, of course, the time of day is the only issue. We did it. We did it! I can't wear it, can I? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So everything that we have is... Well, not everything is above 80, uh, 90%. There's this thing. And there's this thing. I kind of want to fix this one. This one doesn't really matter. Uh, so let's get the wrecked mittens or whatever. And uh, let's harvest. See how long that allows uh, we have to, uh, how, how much time we have to do this and then I want to do that repair it's gonna be 25 minutes come on you can pull it off you can pull it off I think the sun is still there perfect okay and now we can eat some crackers I'm gonna start taking hydration damage <laughs> because of the crackers <gasps> My mouth is too parched. It's really bad. I, sh I shouldn't have done what I just did. Oh, I don't... I don't have water. Oh. <laughs> this is awesome. I love it. I love it. They really had... To, they had to go... I don't want to break that down. They had to go to good lengths to make sure that all the lighting works and all that sort of stuff. This is it's fantastic. It's a little bit scary as well, but it's good. So we're gonna need to make water. I have a little bit of water over here. Yeah, we have there. Uh, we're not gonna have to make water. That's uh, that's an, a different sort of activity. We're not gonna need that for right now. Uh, I am also... I'm, I'm gonna bring a little bit more of this though with me. Because that way at least I can keep my... Uh, it's so... It's so creepy. It's really, really cool. It's it's really weird. It's it's awesome. I love it. I love it. Okay, we're gonna go to bed. This is not gonna bother us. Not like it bothers Jeremiah, because apparently Jeremiah doesn't like the lights. I can sleep with lights on. Uh, unfortunately for me, because I, I would love to be able to wake up with the sun. That's the best. Just waking up with the sun. It's like 8 a.m. You know, you only need to get up at 8 uh, or half past 8, and you just you get up with the sun. It's awesome. But, unfortunately, that doesn't happen to me. The sun shoves this light on my face, and I don't care. I'm just snoring away, and it's terrible. I wake up at 10 or 11 if I if I don't care to put up my, uh, or to take care of my uh, alarm clock. Okay. So keep drinking during the night. And, uh, sleep another hour? Just another more hour. I don't know if I needed another one. Come on. It's the it's the saving that takes time. Yeah, I don't think I need another one. This is dangerous though. Let's take a look. Shut up, Tommy. Okay. What? <clears throat> I was trying to open the door, but uh, yeah. This is dangerous because there might be a green wolf around. No, it's too, it's too, it's still very, very night. I don't like very night. Just, oh boy, that's bad. Let's not mess with that. Let's go upstairs. So tricky to see, though, despite the light. It's just low voltage, I guess. Huh. Okay. Let's get another hour in there of sleep. Still have 500 calories. That is a lot. I, I mean, I have been overeating, though. It's, uh, it's easy to, to think that there's very little calories in the, in the... Stomach. Okay, now it's daytime. Not that I can see anything, but... It's daytime. And with our flare gun... We'll be okay. Oh, it's definitely daytime. We'll definitely be okay. That was... I don't know what that sound is. 
And there's the sunrise. My god, the sunrise is beautiful in this game. I, I, I know why, I, I, why it caught me by surprise. Because usually in survival mode, the mornings are very windy. And just, well, even if they're not windy, they're very, um, they're very cold. So, unless you're really, really well equipped, you don't want to go out in the morning, you want to do your uh, repairs and all that sort of stuff inside, and then by about midday, you go out, take care of things, get some wood, get some exploring done, and usually if you get some exploring done, you bring your, uh, your, uh, bed sack, is it bed sack? What's it called? Whatever. The blue thing that I have back at the cabin. Uh, you bring it with you. Also, I'm carrying around too much stuff that I shouldn't be. Oh, it's because I have a parka. It's fine. Thought I it, well, it's also because I have a few other things. At least I have I have, have two uh, sewing kits on me that I hope I will I won't need. Want to make sure there's no wolves down here. I don't think there's wolves over there. Good. And yeah, the, usually the mornings are really nasty, but we're good. Five degrees feels like five degrees. I'm just that... <laughs> it's crazy. It is crazy. I I don't know how they are going to do in, in later... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in this experience. Unless it's a balancing issue, they must be planning for... They must be basically balancing the game so that in this episode, uh, in the second episode, you basically can not care about temperature but I don't know how this one is gonna end if it ends up just tearing all of your clothes out which is possible as well um, then I guess that, that that'd be a, ni a nice reset point I hope not I hope it doesn't do that I still don't have my wolf my rabbit mittens not wolf mittens I, I'm not bringing with me the, the one did I leave it over there? Did I screw up on that? I I guess we'll find out. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember where I left the rabbit skin. It's real, and I and I really want so many things I need to do, and I, I still I still want to be friends with the guy. Yeah, we're gonna need to go hunting for bunnies. That's a thing we're gonna need to do, but not for right now. For right now, we're just going back. We're gonna tell the guy. About the well, we're gonna give him the parka. Hopefully, he'll give it to me. But if he does, I don't really know how, what's gonna happen because I'm already so powerful with the weather. Anything right about now? Yeah, it's fine. You can eat snow anytime, and it's not yellow snow; it's blue snow. Freaking hell! By the corner of my eye, I thought I saw a wolf. Yeah, that's the thing. First-person shooters failed to do. Is uh, utilizing your periphery vision. And humans have a very strong periphery vision. Basically, when we see movement, uh, for movement, I, I should say, not for colors or shapes or anything else. Um, but if you, we see movement in, in the corner of our eyes, we just, we are very quick to uh, to react. It's in instinctive, it's, it's immediate. Well, not immediate, but you know what I mean. It's very fast. Uh, and first person shooters can do that, even though I'm on a widescreen. We're, well, you are seeing this in a, on a widescreen format, but, well, unless you reshape the video somehow. But uh, you might not be in a widescreen, but that's fine. But yeah, basically, even though we're in a widescreen, we need like a really seriously big screen to be able to uh, to utilize the uh, the periphery vision. I have enough screens for that. Uh, basically, three screens will do that. But even then, it's not 100% the periphery that we have. Because right now I have, like, I'm watching over here, the center. And if I had another screen to my right, I probably will be able to see that. But that's still not in the periphery. The periphery would be al almost over here or something like that. Uh, the, the, you know, the corner of my eye. So, yeah. And I'm pretty sure I'm, I couldn't play this game on three screens. Definitely not on the screens I have. Oh, look at that! We made a successful shortcut! I... That was good. That was really good. That's the proper way over here. And I was just talking. Because I always go around, and I don't think it is... Yeah, I keep saying that. I keep saying that. There's the big grandpa over there. I suppose it's not the big grandpa. The big grandpa is the one... I don't call him the big grandpa. It's just a big a big mountain that I know about. It's, it's not this one. This one can be seen from anywhere. Actually, it's very close, I would say. 
Let me see. Maybe it's not that as close as I thought it was. It is, but it is. It looks pretty close, doesn't it? But yeah. I slow down when I move. When I have this, it looks pretty close. I was trying to triangulate based the based on the uh, on the movement, but I, it's so slow I can't really tell. Oh, don't tell me. There we go. Okay. Now let me make sure I didn't. I I did leave my rabbit skin over here. Because uh, ho hopefully that's the case. Okay. Let's see what we have. Crap. I don't know where I have my rabbit skin. I think I left it in a. I think I left it inside the drawer. <sighs> I'm terrible at that. I am terrible at that. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's uh, let's talk to old Jeremiah over here. And give him the parker. So, um, yeah, I've got your coat. Good as new. Good enough, anyway. And he keeps it. Yeah, you'd expect that. So, um, survival lessons. Let's talk about survival skills. What do you want to tackle? Well, I guess it's time for the big one, isn't it? Hunting. What can you teach me about hunting? Well, trick is to spot your target. Get as close as you can. Take a shot. And don't miss. That all? Uh, pretty much. A few years of practice and you might have a clue. I don't have a few years. Yeah, there's a clearing, a few hilltops over from here. I'll mark it on your map. Almost always a herd of deer that, uh, that winter there. Shoot one and bring the meat back here. And we'll both know you can feed yourself in the wild. Okay, so that's actually really good because... Uh, because we'll be able to get the, uh, the hide as well to give it to him. Yeah, remember, if you hit one, but don't kill it. You'll have to track it till it drops. Look for blood in the snow and follow its trail. It'll fall. Uh, it'll fall eventually. Then we both eat. Good luck. You ready? Yep. I'll give it a shot. Then good luck. Come back to me when you've banked one. Okay. So we have another objective this time around with our rifle. We're gonna really need to spend the ammo that we have, which is okay because we have plenty of it. But I was hoping not to have to, because I, I am a hoarder. I'm a terrible, terrible, terrible hoarder. I'm very stingy. And these things are being cured. Okay, I'm not going to need them, though. So, yeah, this is working again. It's fantastic. Uh, I am going to... How did that only... F I don't understand. I was 31. Okay, I'm going to drop these things. Those two. Keeping those with me. And all the clothing that we have. Okay, it's perfect. It's the rifle that's really weighing us down. Well, I suppose it's not just the rifle. And the stones as well. Yeah, five kilograms. That seems about right. Also have this. And that. And these. Can drop these. There we go. And just take them later. And of course the clothing is a little bit more, uh, a little bit heavier than we are used to. There we go. Anyway, that's going to be that for this episode. I am Colonel RPG, and this has been The Long Dark. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.